Energy producers are waiting for a green light to begin construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Several Midwest states, including South Dakota and Montana, are waiting for President Obama to decide whether the 1,700-mile construction project will be allowed to proceed. And many North Dakotans are shocked to find out the pipe is sitting in their own backyard. Hundreds of people drive by a piece of massive pipeline that's become a political football. William Platson owns an old coal mine in a secluded corner of southwest North Dakota. In 2010, he learned that his land was the perfect spot to park 200 miles of the Keystone XL pipeline. But he never thought it would stay so long. Obviously, we thought it would, you know, they would start to unload and then immediately it would start to go, you know, towards the pipeline. Each of these pipes is 80 feet long, 36 inches in diameter, and sits on 75 acres of land. It's hard to miss the close to 200 miles of pipeline sitting here in North Dakota, but Bill says it's a well-kept secret. Yeah, I've noticed that there's a lot of pipe over here to the east of, of Bowman, that, and we've wondered where is this supposed to be going at. Others in the small town of Bowman say they know about the delays getting the project started, and they hate to see it just sitting there. They seem to be having some problems, but I really do think they need to work it out because North Dakota needs to get the oil out of here and there's a whole lot of oil here. The pipeline will travel across three Midwest states and carry oil from the Canadian tar sands and the Bakken down to refineries in the Gulf. Platson understands approval of the pipeline is in President Obama's hands. So for now, this outdoor storage site will remain a fixture of the North Dakota landscape, collecting snow and dust. North Dakota Senator John Hoven and other proponents recently spoke on the floor of the Senate to urge the president to sign a permit to allow construction of the pipeline to begin. When and if that happens is up to President Obama.